Hello! I say it's May because it's not. It's the 28th of April 2018. I'm going to put this down as my May book haul even though, like, obviously, <laughs> it's not May for a couple of days and we'll end up reading loads more. This is just what we've got at the minute. I went to the library today and what have you. I think he's holding onto my arm while I'm filming this. This is what I'm reading at the minute. It's Dawn French, Oh Dear Sylvia. Show you at books brand because you can't sorry, you can't see uh, where it says Dawn French on the front because of the sticker. Me um my mum lent me this. I wouldn't have gone out and bought it, even though I really like Dawn French. She's the other half of comic duo French and Saunders and she was Geraldine Jane Granger in Vicar Dibley of course. So she's a very funny lady but it's not something I'd have bought. I'm trying to find my I've just read chapter three. Every there's a woman in a woman in hospital called Silver Sylvia and she's in a coma and every single chapter is somebody different um coming to visit her and I think as it goes along you find out more about Sylvia and in, in the end you find out what happened if something sinister happened that put her in this coma or whatever but I'm only at chapter four and already I don't know how I feel about it yet I don't I'm not into it yet but that don't mean no sometimes but to take a little getting into the first time so it might be all right a woman a coma a family a secret so I'll carry on with it we'll see how it goes right with the kids We've been reading this series of books called The Travellers, Four People, One Story. We're in the middle of Lizzie, which is the third book. It's by Rosemary Hayes. Pinky's grabbing the camera. <laughs> Hello, Pinky. Um, we've read the first book, Tess. We've read the second book, Mike. We're halfway through Lizzie. And when we've done Lizzie, we're going to read the last book, Ben. And then we've read them all. It's it's all right. Mummy not paying any attention. The matter. The matter. Um, Tess and Ben are both gorgeous. That means non-travellers, non-gypsies. Mike and Lizzie are both gypsies, and it's a story interlinking all four characters, and the kids are enjoying it. So, but when we've done them, do you want to look at them, Pinky? Just don't rip them. <laughs> When we've done that, we've got this book out of the library. It's David Williams, Gangster Granny. It's our first chapter book we'll ever have read with him. We have read some David Williams books before, but not tra uh, chapter books. And these are our other library choices. Dr. Tilly. Bod picked that. Bod's only two. Your hand in my hand. Pudge picked this, Pudge is seven and obsessed with poo, the dinosaur that pooped the planet and it's got disgusting sound on it. Whoa! Oh, not okay, they're not all disgusting sounds, but that one is. Yeah. Lovely. What's that sound coming from, Pinky? Pinky's nearly nine months, you're nine months in about three days, aren't you, darling? Now I'm talking about three days. You like that, didn't you? You make noise. I was quite impressed with it because normally when you get a sound book from the library, it doesn't work anymore. What's that? I don't like it. It's only sounds. Grandma's from Mars. This is like a graphic novel, comic y type thing for Fudge, who's seven. Shh, score. Are you the pirate captain? We've had that before. Bud liked it. Builders, a nice chunky lift the flat book for our two year old. What's the matter, Pinky Winky? She just woke up, ain't you, darling? I woke up, you had a nap, didn't you? Numbers, that's a nice chunky lift flat one for as well. Cheetah learns to play nicely. That's for Beanie, he likes these. We've had, they're all like behavioural stories, but he really likes them. We've had Elephant Learns to Share. Hippo owns up, lions in a flap, Mon monkey learns to listen. I went to any village yet. Being like that. I didn't pick this, I knew pick this up. More, and uh, because um, they must have picked it when I weren't looking, because there it was on the pile. More people to love me, families come in all shapes and sizes. So that might be quite good. Dinosaurs don't, do bed don't have bedtimes, we've had that before and all. Oh, Pinky Winky. Funny and Monkey book two. 
That's the pud. He's read the first one. On to the second one. Flying like flitter mouse. Oh, we found a dead mouse on my own from the library, and kids were examining it, trying to work out it had died, and I was dead squeamish. I was probably please stop looking at the dead mouse. I hurried Henry's bugs. It's full of facts, though. I thought it was a storybook. It's full of facts. All right, Pinky Winky. All right, Pinky Winky. She wait, cuddle. I got the sound, but come here then, I say good. Hey, good luck. Thank you for watching. My blog, Home Educating the Mad Lads, is on Facebook. And my two books, Home Educating the Mad Lads. <laughs> That's my baby squawking. <laughs> it's a biggie. And Atchin Town by Victoria Muston Jones are available on Amazon. Thank you. Bye.